بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایم ڈاکٹر محمد زمان اشرف آئی ویلکم یو آل ان ریئیکشن میکانیزم ٹوڈے اور ٹاپک از ایلیفیٹک نیوکلوفیلک سبسٹیٹیوشن ریئیکشن آئی وی ڈسکس دا جنرل ریئیکشن ریپرزینٹ دا ایلیفیٹک نیوکلوفیلک سبسٹیوشن ریئیکشن اینڈ آلسو آئی ول ڈسکس دا چارج ٹرائبس وچ آر ان وچ آر انوالو وین وی ڈسکس دا ایلیفیٹک نیوکلوفیلک سبسٹیوشن ریئیکشن آئی ول آلسو ڈسکس واٹ از سال والسز اینڈ الکائلیشن اینڈ ایسائلیشن آف نیوکلیو فائل دے ول بی ڈسکس ان ٹو ڈے لیکچر سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ ود دا ایلیفیٹک نیوکلوفیلک سبسٹیوشن ریئیکشن so uh, 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 when we discuss the general reaction which show this nucleophilic substitution reaction then we have r x plus y it will gives us r y plus x so this y uh, it may be uh, negatively charged or it possess lone pair this is the substrate this is attacking nucleophile our product and the leaving uh, group so uh, when uh, we uh, discuss the charge type this equation it tells nothing about the charge types i mean charges on the substrate and the attacking nucleophile the one thing uh, which is uh, very clear is that this why it must be negatively charged or possess unshared electron pair mean it is it must be electron donor in any case this y it may be uh, neutral or negatively charged and this rx may be neutral or positively charged this is because this rx it acts as electrophilic center at which this y attacks and replace this uh, x so um, based upon the charge types here we have four different uh, types of the uh, reaction uh, based upon the uh, charge types for example the type 1 we have r i plus oh negative it will gives us r oh plus i so this is uh, the type in which the ri uh, which is substrate it is neutral while the attacking nucleophile y it is negatively charged so keep in mind whenever nucleophile it is negatively charged it is always more nucleophilic as compared to its neutral precursors uh, i mean if you have oh negative this oh negative is more nucleophilic as compared to h2o so uh, or we have suppose nh2 negative it is more nucleophilic as compared to nh3 or sh negative more nucleophilic as compared to h2s so uh, when we discuss the nucleophilic strength Uh, between negatively charged species and their neutral precursors the negatively charged species are more nucleophilic as compared to their neutral precursor so this is the case the charged uh, the type 1 in which attacking nucleophile is negatively charged it means its nucleophilicity is greater compared to the uh, water uh, if uh, uh, what uh, from water if it is uh, derived the type 2 when we have r i plus n m e 3 trimethyl amine so in trimethyl amine this is neutral so the type 2 in which both the reactants they are neutral none of them is positively or negatively charged so this is the case in which we have r n me3 positive plus 
I negative. The type 3 here we have R and Me3 positive. So, this is the case when we have the substrate at which nucleophile uh, is uh, uh, the nucleophile where attacks is positively charged and the attacking nucleophile is negatively charged. So, in type 3 both the species the electrophilic and nucleophilic they are positively and negatively charged respectively. And we have R OH plus and Me3 ok. So, uh, it means when your substrate it is positively charged then uh, it is more electrophilic uh, in nature as we have discussed for the case of uh, nucleophile when nucleophile is negatively charged it has greater nucleophilicity as compared to their neutral precursor the type 4 in which R So, this is the case uh, when the substrate is positively charged while your attacking nucleophile is neutral. So, it means based upon the charge types here we have four different uh, situations uh, in which the first attacking nucleophile is negatively charged and substrate is neutral or both the substrate are attacking nucleophile neutral. The third uh, and the fourth case is where uh, our uh, substrate is positively charged and attacking nucleophile is negatively charged and the last one the fourth one substrate is positively charged and attacking nucleophile is neutral. So, based upon these four different charge types you can uh, uh, propose that which of the reaction uh, has greater rate of reaction or speed of reaction uh, you can uh, determine uh, the speed of reaction or uh, feasibility or possibility of the reaction and then uh, the mechanism of the reaction we can also uh, suggest and uh, suppose so when uh, y it replace this x then it is nucleophilic substitution reaction the case where y is also the solvent then such type of nucleophilic substitution reaction they are known as solvolysis ok. So, uh, solvolysis uh, lysis in uh, organic chemistry whenever you talk uh, this uh, lys uh, the, uh, the word lysis it means uh, to break or to uh, cleave. So, uh, in the presence of uh, solvent when Rx bond is cleaved then this is known as solvolysis. Uh, just uh, if I uh, recall some other terms which uh, involve this uh, word lysis uh, uh, like uh, hydrolysis, hydrolysis uh, is the uh, cleavage of any molecule in the presence of water in which water HOH bond is also cleaved like hydrolysis of ester into carboxylic acid and alcohol or we have the term thermolysis. So, thermolysis uh, the lysis are the cleavage of bonds in the presence of heat or we have photolysis, photolysis. So, photolysis is the uh, uh, process in which we cleave the bond uh, at the expense of light. So, when light is used to uh, uh, break or to cleave the bonds uh, then uh, that process is photolysis or sometimes we call uh, electrolysis. So, electrolysis uh, uh, is the process in which any bond is cleaved at the expense of electricity ok. So, uh, like uh, cleavage of uh, any uh, bond uh, suppose we have HOH bond or we have uh, uh, other uh, uh, compounds in uh, which are cleaved uh, in some electrolytic uh, cell uh, such type of process they are known as uh, electrolysis. So, solvolysis cleavage of this bond in the presence of this solvent. So, right now in case of aliphatic nucleophilic substitution reaction this why it acts as solvent also. So, that is why this is known as solvolysis. So, uh, now I discuss uh, the alkylation and acylation of nucleophiles. Suppose we have well, we have R and we have I plus N Me3 right now I discuss uh, this reaction. So, if this R is any alkyl group 
either it is methyl group or ethyl group or propyl group any alkyl group and this is nucleophile so when it reacts it will gives us r and me3 positive plus i negative so uh, this is actually the uh, this reaction it also involve the alkylation of this nucleophile because this alkyl group is attached with this uh, nucleophilic uh, nitrogen so that's why this process is known as alkylation of nucleophile and if uh, you have the substrate like r c o x so this is a sile group a sile so when it reacts with any nucleophile then we have the product r c o n u x negative so it, uh, this reaction actually involved the acylation of nucleophile because this nucleophilic group any nucleophilic group either it is uh, nitrogen or oxygen or sulfur nucleophile so acyl group is attached so that's that's why this reaction is acylation of nucleophile so uh, this is the alkylation and acylation of uh, nucleophile in which the alkyl and acyl groups are introduced at these two uh, nucleophilic uh, center. So, uh, aliphatic nucleophilic substitution reaction actually they uh, involve the replacement of uh, any uh, nucleophile uh, by the attack of uh, some incoming uh, nucleophile. The nucleophile which is displaced is uh, commonly known as uh, leaving group or nucleophuge and the nucleophile which uh, attached is the attacking nucleophile. There are several uh, mechanisms uh, which, uh, which have been proposed uh, for uh, different types of substrate uh, to, uh, to uh, explain their uh, reaction sequence and the most uh, uh, common mechanism in aliphatic nucleophilic substitution reaction when your uh, substrate carbon is sp3 hybridized uh, is the SN1 and SN2 reactions. I will uh, discuss all these uh, mechanism in my upcoming lecture the SN1 react, uh, mechanism, SN2 mechanism and neighboring group participation and then ion pair in SN1 mechanism, SNI mechanism. So, all these uh, mechanisms which are involved in uh, aliphatic nucleophilic substitution reaction they will be discussed in details in my upcoming lectures. Thank you very much.